Now in some ways we've already completed our study of nomenclature so this is just going to be a small extension. Um, there is a case, it's an occurrence we'll call it, um, where we have something called a hydrate. Hydrate sounds like hydro which means water and that's exactly what a hydrate is. A hydrate is a compound that has water associated with its crystal structure. For example, here's a crystal structure. We may have sodium chloride, sodium chloride, sodium chloride, sodium. Let's contrast that um, with this salt crystal here. This salt crystal also has repeating units, but you'll notice that um, there's water molecules here somehow associated with the crystal, either on the crystal or in the crystal. I'm not entirely sure, um, but I don't know that we even care at this point anyway. Um, we should recognize this distinction though. Um, this is a salt. It's called anhydrous salt because it's without water. Whereas this is the hydrate. It has water somehow associated with it. Now we kind of already know the rules for naming and formula writing. They're the same rules. Let's just apply them um, how you think you should. So you'll notice that there's six water molecules. So six that's hexa, right? And water is going to be a hydrate, so we'll call it hexahydrate. And what would be the name of this? You'll notice it um, being an ionic compound because cobalt is a metal, but cobalt is also a transition metal, which means we have to say what the charge is. To help us figure out the charge on cobalt, we need to use the anion. That's chloride. So what is the name of this hydrate? Well, chloride always has a charge of minus one, and we have two chlorides, so that means cobalt has to have a charge of plus two. So the name of this hydrate would be cobalt two chloride hexahydrate. Let's make sure we understand this name. Cobalt two, remember this two tells us what the charge on cobalt is. Cobalt two chloride and we needed to say what the charge was using a Roman numeral once again because cobalt is a transition metal and hexahydrate means six waters. So let's see if you can go um, the reverse direction. Let's see if you can provide the formula for magnesium sulfate heptahydrate. Just as a side note, magnesium sulfate heptahydrate um, is, is the is the name for Epsom salt. Maybe you've used Epsom salt before at home for um, some reason or another. All right, so write magnesium sulfate like you always would, and then just include a small dot, and then indicate how many waters there are. And you know that hepta means seven, so we have seven waters. So this here is magnesium sulfate heptahydrate.